damn, I can definitely use a haircut, man. Your hair looks beautiful today. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Guys, welcome to today's video. So, I've been playing some, uh, some of the new tower. And I enjoy it. It's a pretty cool tower so far because I didn't hit super high battles. Which are gonna get, make me rage, I'm sure of it. But for now, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm actually having quite a lot of luck on my main account. I'm gonna start uploading uh, videos uh, on, on the most important battles very soon, starting tomorrow. But for today, I just wanted to see if what I'm grinding for is worth it. I'm gonna take a look at every single piece of gear of Sorcerer Tower. And I'm gonna basically give my opinion about every single piece and which pieces are I think are good and which pieces I think are not so good. So yeah, let's get started with that. Sounds like fun. So I've been mostly getting uncommon pieces. I don't think I've got a single epic or rare piece yet and I've completed 30 battles in each tower uh, on my main account and 10 battles on each tower on my uh, beginner account and I only get uncommon gear so far, which is not terrible. I guess Maxed out and common gear is also going to be pretty helpful. So, let's start with the first piece that I found on Twitter. Salamander Gloves. 30% combo and damage boost. And at Fusion 10, damage from Poison, Bleed and Fire Dots is increased by 25%. There is a lot of, I mean not a lot of, but there is a few other pieces of gear that increase damage from Poison, Bleed, and... I, actually... I think... that those pieces only increase damage of specific things. Like, there's a piece of gear to increase the bleed damage, there's specific gear to increase fire damage. This piece increases Poison, Bleed, and Fire. And it's gonna be pretty easy to get this maxed out, I think, even for beginners, because the gear... at least for me, and common gear drops were pretty common. Okay, maybe if you're very beginner and you're stuck at battle 1, you will have less chance, but... I think I will max out this on my main account for sure. And uh, it's pretty exciting piece of gear. 25% increase in dot damage. Imagine character that does most of their damage by dots. They're gonna be killing people 25% faster. Give this to Classic Reptile. Give this to Ravnus Melina. Oh my god, my cat decided to play with a noisy toy now. Great job, cat! Thank you for supporting the channel. Subscribe. Anyway. Uh, it seems like a pretty co cool piece of gear. And combo and your damage boost. Now, do you hear this? Do you hear this idiot cat? Uh, you probably don't because I have a very good microphone. Uh, I think it's gonna go up to maybe 50% when it's maxed out. And... Uh, I mean, it's extra damage. I think... Like, having something like increase your attack by 20% is gonna be more damage overall. But I think it's still pretty good. I would rate this piece for uncommon... 7 out of 10, which is not terrible. Alright, let's move to the next one. Snake Fang. Alright, this, first of all... It's... it looks so cool. I wonder if it's Jade on the picture. It's some kind of a lady. It might be Jade, but it, it, this gear obviously has nothing to do with Jade, but it looks like Jade. 10% chance to apply poison on special attack 2. Probably gonna go up to maybe 30%? I, I don't... this is the problem. I wanna see maxed out stats as well, but not many people maxed out these pieces yet, so it's it's pretty hard to find. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna... if, if I... Uh, when I max it out, I, ma I might make another review on how actually good and common pieces are. Uh, poison lasts 35% longer. Okay, obviously this this one is all about the poison. Now imagine the possibilities. Take a Cabal Brutality set, co combine it with this, and you got yourself a poison machine. Oh my god, that is actually pretty good. Now I wonder if you put this on Classic Reptile, and he already has poison on Special too. Are you gonna have a chance to apply an extra poison? And 35% longer, is it gonna stack with a Cabal set, which also increases the duration of poison? I think it's a, I think it's a, I, I like this one more. Because first of all, poison is incredibly powerful. And there is a lot of good poisoners in the game, so... 
I would say... 8 out of 10. Pretty... For uncommon. Pretty good piece of gear. Alright, let's move to the next one. Wait, did they change Brutal Ending? Wearing Full Brutality set gives 100% chance to Special Combiners, combiners to defeat instantly on any opponent under 25% health. They changed Brutal Ending! I think it wasn't 100%, right? I think it was less. Oh my god, that is that is very useful. Alright, next piece of gear to take a look on. Uh, out Auroboros Ring. Oh, this one is not Fusion Zero. I kind of want to look at the basic stats, but we can see how it scales. Uh, I mean, it's it's still fine. I, I know it starts, I think, with 30% recovery boost, and at Fusion 2, it's 52, so... It looks like it's increased by... Wait, I'm confused. Okay, here's the one with Fusion 0. Oh, it starts at 40, and it looks like it increases by 4% for every Fusion, so it's gonna end up at 80%! My goodness, that is good! So, 40 to 80% recovery boost. Guys, again, as I said, recovery is incredibly useful for, uh, for survival, which means that now we have more pieces, you can play more teams and survive longer in survival and get more points. 75% more power whenever hit by an opponent. Also is extremely useful. Power generation gear is very powerful. I feel like this is 10 out of 10 uncommon piece of gear. For uncommon piece, it's just, it's just amazing. I rated 10 out of 10. I don't know. It's so good. Alright, let's move on to rare pieces. Alright, we get Viper Hood. Resistance to Snare. Chance to apply Weaken to enemies affected by Dot and Special Attack 1. And when maxed out, apply this spell and Regeneration. What? 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 Regeneration! On Special Attack 2. Regeneration! That is the best thing you can apply in special too. Resistance to snare is also extremely useful. You get wrecked by snare so many times. At least I do. When I just can't take out and I'm getting very low. Chance to apply weaken to enemies affected by dot on special one. Weaken is incredible. I I, I have to make an entire video on on on, on weaken. It's so good. They do so much less damage. It's such a good counter to super powerful characters. It decreases the, your damage at least in half. I don't know what's the math behind it, but it's the, the damage decrease is amazing. So this is insane piece of gear. All three things on it are ridiculously overpowered. Put this on somebody who has dots and you got him free healing. You got him dispel in case they get s actually if you get snared. Extra way to escape is to use your special two and dispel, and also like this you can dispel anything, which is ama- Oh my god, this is for rare piece. I'm gonna rate it nine out of ten. It's just incredible. I mean, I can see how it could be better, but it's incredible for rare piece. Nine out of ten. Probably the best rare piece of gear in this entire tower, even though I haven't seen the rest of them yet. But this seems like it's, it's gonna be hard to beat. Soul Reaver's King Cobra Belt. Alright, let's take out and check out this one. 15% max health boost. Whenever an opponent performs a successful special attack and combo ender, there is 10% chance to apply cripple. Wow! <laughs> And Shang Tsung said if this is... Okay, obviously this is gonna be Shang Tsung Brutality. Hey, wh what about the the 100%... Uh, oh, come on, show, show the whole thing. Alright, wait. Let me find another picture. Uh, health boost. And f for the maxed out ability, we have 50% incoming dot and dark magic damage reduction. Uh, 50%. We have gear that makes you immune. Okay, let's... First of all, that was an epic piece. This is a rare piece, so it makes sense. So, uh, dark magic damage reduction can be very useful in the towers. And health boost is also very useful. Whenever an opponent performs a successful special attack, which means it's not blocked, right? I th That's how I understand it. So you have to get hit by their special attack or a combo ender. 
and then they're gonna get crippled. What? I don't know, the way I see it right now, it seems pretty bad. This whole piece of gear is just not, not that good even for a rare. I'm gonna rate it... I mean, for a rare, it's probably maybe 6 out of 10, maybe 5 out of 10. It's just the whole thing that you need to get hit in order to get a small chance to get... Like, it's it sounds a little bit ridiculous. Alright, let's check out the last rare piece of gear. Alright, we got Acid Dragon's Taco Kagi. 10% chance damage boost against enemies affected by poison. 15% chance to apply blind on special attack 1. This is Reptile's uh, brutality piece of gear, interesting. I wonder how, how it scales. Is it gonna go like by 10% and gonna get all the way to 100%? That, that would be awesome. And the ability when it's maxed out is gain 100% critical hit damage boost for 5 seconds whenever blinded opponent misses any attack. Hmm. 100% critical hit damage for 5 seconds. Now, why is the reptile has a blind beast? I don't think there's any reptiles that have anything to do with blind. But w I wonder if this is gonna work if you put a uh, shadow sash that will blind your initial enemy. And then, but again, I feel like in MK Mobile, even if you're blind, like most of the time, you're gonna be on the offensive. Especially after you do a special attack. So you do special attack 1, you're most likely gonna go on offensive right away. And by the time they actually get to hit you, there is a high chance the blind will already expire. So that kind of sounds pretty bad, I don't know, I, I'm not impressed with this piece. Damage boost against enemies affected by poison. We have pieces of gear like this. Oh my god, this one seems even worse. No, it's, it's about the same as the previous one. I would rate it 4 or 5. Four, 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 five. I don't know. It's, it's. I don't know. I'm not impressed about this one. I, I would go with four probably. Huh. So looking for, uh, for some uh, epic gear description, I actually uh, found out that Mand just uploaded, literally like uh, a few hours ago. He uploaded uh, reviewing Sorcerer Tower equipment. Guys, if you don't know Mand, it's another amazing MK Mobile YouTuber. So go check him out. And. Uh, if he doesn't mind, I'm gonna use uh, his video because he probably has uh, some some visuals of epic pieces of gear. It's it's surprisingly was very high to, uh, far, hard to find on social networks. So I'm kind of curious to see his opinion. I haven't watched the video yet, but I'm curious to see his opinion on the new gear. After I make my own opinions, uh, I'm gonna go watch his video. I just don't want to be affected by by his his opinions. You guys also can go watch his video and. Uh, compare our opinions. I wonder if we agree or disagree on some pieces of gear. Uh, anyway, let me find uh, let me find when he talks about the epic pieces. All right, we're gonna start with Varan Jacket. 15% chance to dodge a special attack. 40% chance opponent's basic attack. Wait, wait a second. 40% chance opponent's basic attack uh, critical hits heal for 20% of incoming damage instead of dealing damage. What? 15% chance to dodge a special attack. How fa- what? How high is it gonna go? Is it gonna go like up to 50% or something? Something ridiculous? Critical hits heal for 20% of incoming damage instead of dealing damage. 40% is the basic chance. All right, and I found a uh, description for the max one. Damage from special attacks is reduced by 50%. It sounds like this piece of gear will make you pretty much indestructible. God, what? This sounds super OP. I, I need to see how this scales. What's going to be the chance to dodge a special attack on max? I'm hoping there's going to be people who are going to max out this gear pretty fast. I know there's a lot of big spenders. And I'm hoping I'm gonna get a chance to play with this gear when it's maxed, because it sounds like a lot of fun. I'm gonna make reviews on every single piece, if it's possible, and we're gonna find out. But so far, this piece, piece of gear seems amazing. For an epic... 
Oh, chance to dodge a special attack. That's like ridiculous. And heal from critical hits on basic attacks. 9 out of 10. This uh, this seems like insane piece of gear. Again, I might change my mind after I play it, but on paper... But again, there's a random element to it, so it's it's not gonna go up to 100% definitely on probably any of these things. Maybe basic attacks will go to 100%, but I'm not, not even sure. It, it's possible. Maybe 80%. If it goes to 100%, 9 out of 10. If it doesn't, 8 out of 10. That's my verdict. <laughs> All right, let's see the next piece. We got Soul Reaver's Servant. 10% chance to apply Curse on critical hit. Curse is the one that makes your enemy take more damage from critical hits, right? I see potential in this. I see potential of breaking the new world record on damage. Imagine three combo enders. Curse! And then, oh, but it has to be critical, not lethal. I think it's only possible to set the record with lethal. I don't know. Maybe there is potential, maybe. 15% damage boost against enemies affected by cripple. I think his, his rare piece applies cripple, right? Okay, there is a few other abilities. For Shang Tsung, when Shang Tsung defeats an opponent, he and his teammates gain the defeated opponent's remaining power, distributing it amongst them. Okay. That is not bad, that is pretty cool. And the best thing about it is that it works at any fusion, so that is... That is pretty good for Shang Tsung, I think. Some, some free power, why not? And uh, there's also maxed out ability. Curse debuffs can stack up to two times. So you realize what it means. I don't know what it means. I need I need to test it. I need to test it if it if it actually deals that much more damage. I'm so so far cursed was pretty useless debuff because not that many characters have it. I think Ravnus Melina has it on special one, but I never use Ravnus Melina special one because her special two is just too too amazing. So we just gotta have to wait and see. Uh, so far, initially not overly impressed, but it seems like a decent piece. I'm gonna rate it 6 out of 10, for now, but again, once I test it, it may go up, because it doesn't, like, why Why can't I see things like curse, what's the, uh, how much does it increase, it says just increases damage from critical hits, but it doesn't say how much, which makes it hard to compare pieces of gear. Alright, let's see the next one. Alright, we got Ser uh, Serpent uh, Kusarigama, this is, this is an easy one. 50% critical hit chance boost when below 40% health. Chance to gain speed increase for 5% after performing a combo ender. Thirty percent is the base chance, so it's gonna go up. And for the max ability, critical hits have 70% chance to vampire the damage when I'm gonna assume it says below 40% health. Man, do you have a big head, man? Why don't you move? <laughs> Just kidding, your head is totally fine. Uh, very nice head, by the way. It's beautiful. Uh, th f f first of all, again, not a huge fan of this one because it basically rewards you for, for being low health. 50% critical hit chance boost. So you need to basically get hit in order to activate uh, some, some benefits. Not a big fan of that, not a big fan. Speed increase after combo ender. Again, how big is the speed increase? If it's enough to be able to chain straight into the next combo, it may be useful. But it's only five seconds, so it's gonna last you maybe one combo. Critical hits, 75% chance to vampire. By vampire, I assume lifesteal, so... Basically, you heal if you're below 40%. Actually, th so this character has a chance to heal when he's below 40% and also get... Okay. But you also have critical hit chance boost when below 40%. But it's dangerous to be below 40%. You don't want to do that most of the time. 
I don't know, it seems like it's a fun piece of gear for somebody like... Maybe Slasher Jason, because that guy, basically, you can't afford to be below 40. I think for for certain characters that have a lot of chances to come back and they can risk going below 40%, this might be pretty decent. But then, in order for critical hit chance boost to mean anything, you need to build up your critical hit damage. Which means you have to give him some critical hit damage increased gear to the character. Which means it's gonna be useless half of the fight when you're above 40% health. No, I don't know, I'm not I'm not buying this. I'm I'm gonna rate it at 5. I again certain characters are gonna benefit from it more than others, but in general, for an epic piece, considering it's a tower gear that is gonna be extremely hard to get, so far I think this one is my least favorite. I would rate it 5. 5 out of 10, I don't know. Uh, let's take out, let's, let's check out the last one. We got the Reptiles Brutality piece. Uh, 10% power generation boost. 40% chance to gain 7% maximum power for all teammates. After the user successful applies, successfully applies poison or bleed to an opponent. All teammates. And this might actually go to 100% when it's maxed out. I think it should. Otherwise, it would be pretty sad. Imagine this on Classic Reptile. Oh my god. And power generation boost. Okay, and uh, uh, ability for Reptile is gonna be... Let's see if man show is, shows us... Basic attacks heal for 20% of the damage done to opponent affected by poison. What? Are you serious? Are you actually serious? And when maxed out, power drain applied to the owner is reflected onto the opponent and is turned into power steel. This is broken. Put this in classic reptile. Again, you want to put it again only in certain characters, but this is a freaking reptile's brutality piece. It's insane. Let me read this again. Am I am I getting this right? Power drain applied to the owner is reflected onto the opponent and turned into the power steel. What? Imagine that. Power generation boost. First of all, amazing. Seven Successful! Oh my god! And poison or bleed. So I like how they're giving it versatility. So take classic reptile. Give him Scarlet's rare piece of gear, vial of infinite blood. He's gonna be poisoning and bleeding your enemy all the time, and he's gonna be like getting power for the entire team. Nine out of ten. This is a nine out of ten piece of gear. We got two nine out of ten pieces in my opinion. Epics and one nine out of ten rare piece. Was it 10 out of 10? I think it might be 10 out of 10. So, in my opinion, there's three really good pieces of gear. Two epics, one rare, which you would honestly want to get a lot, because these are pretty good. So, I'm gonna keep trying to get them all and uh, review them as they get them. So far, I didn't get any rare epic pieces in my accounts, but hopefully I'll get lucky. And, yeah, guys, let me know in, uh, in the comments what do you think about these pieces of gear. i, I just kind of curious what man thinks about this. I want to see real quick. That's what? Power drain applies the owner. So if I'm getting power drain, okay, reflect it onto the opponent. So let's say the opponent has one bar of power, he's power draining me. And he's power draining 50%, he's power draining the power that he's supposed to power drain from me. No, 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 you get it wrong! It says it's reflected. So if I have one bar of power and the opponent power drains me, Wait, am I getting it wrong? So this bar of power is gonna be reflected, so... Oh no, never mind, you get it right, I'm dumb! Guys, subscribe to man, he's smart. Anyway, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video, and goodbye.